Hello, hello, hello. This is your boy Brandon Karaya, aka EF Hutton of Entertainment. We got a new kind of video today. We got a vlog today. We're going to a big concert, the Big Stepper, Big Stepper Tour, Kendrick Lamar's tour. Can't wait going with a bunch of my boys. It's going to be a big tour. I'm heading out the door right now to go pick up my co-host of the Brandon Karaya podcast, Damar. Then we're going to hit the train, head downtown, see this concert with the rest of the boys. So let's head out. Look at this guy just scrambling. Scrambling right now. This guy's not trying to make the train. This guy's not trying to make the train right now. This guy's not trying to make the train right now. Let's go, let's go. Holy smokes. Yo, yo. All right, yeah. got this guy in the car. We had, a, we had a, this guy had a night, night last night. Crazy. It's his birthday coming up. Big weekend, not even done. Got Kendrick tonight. Cook out tomorrow just to even recap. Yep. So how you feeling, bro? Feeling good, a little bit hungover, but also very, very excited to see Kendrick. Um, haven't seen him perform since his damn tour in 2017, so this this is definitely going to be sick. You know, we haven't. Oh, heard... you went to that? Yeah, I did. I did. That was super last second. So you know, especially going with all. I think the last time, when's the last time you seen him? When he opened for Kanye? Yeah. One so this night. is like your first actual legitimate like we're Kendrick just, concert. Where it's just him. Exactly. His concert. Yeah. yeah. So I'm excited. I'm that excited. should be good. That should be good. All right. Made the train, now we're picking up our boy. Not picking up the train, should be stopping at Bushill. Get our next boy. On the way to Kendrick. Made the train. I must be Cross's cousin, yo. Yo, fam. Dude, that's Cross's cousin, yo. That's Cross's cousin, yo. Yo, why? All right, we at Union Station. We head to the concert, about to grab some McNicks. Bro, why does the wildest shit happen to us? Okay, yeah. I can't, I can't, yo, I can't right now, okay, yo. Yo, just get me to my concert seat. That's why I only come down there. That's what I'm saying. Yo, get me to my concert seat, fam. Why were me and the mandem just yeah, standing? Oh God, you cut what? He's in line? Oh my God, the man's in line. The man's in line. Yo, why did this man come up? We were just standing and just come up to us and give us the hard N word with the E R S and ask us if we have cigarettes. Are you crazy? I have to. Ca I'm definitely capturing this man on camera. That's crazy. Yo, this is a wild start to the Kendrick concert. Night finna be lit. Yo. Yo, what's going on with people, man? This is why I only come downtown to do it. Talk about it. <laughs> See the man in the pink shirt right over there, son. The man in the pink shirt. Got him. Yes, Mr. Ruckus. <laughs> yeah, going up the stairs. Yes, yes, Mr. Yes, Mr. Ruckus. <laughs> got him, got him. Man in the ruckus. Got him.
just coming out of the, the ACC. Oh yeah, wait, actually, so what's it called now? Scholarship. Oh my what god. What is it? I know it's the ACC. It's the ACC. I'm, I'm coming out of the Scholarship Bank. Just finished the Kendrick Lamar concert. That was lit. That boy is an amazing performer. Honestly, a, a goat. A goat. A lie? Facts. He got better over time. Honestly, yo, honestly though. Honestly. It's perfected his craft. Yeah. Yeah, he like, he's deep in that bag. Yeah. Honestly, like, and like, he's so like, like he's mad artistic. Like, honestly, he was killing that. He was killing that. We'll, we'll break it down more when we get on the train. Heading home now, heading home. Concha was lit. Alright, we're on the train. Concha was lit. Well, he only opened. Uh, he only opened for Kanye. It was a Kanye. It was a Kanye concert. So like, he. Why did I didn't go to that? That's I was just compared to the I was just compared to the Boot Kid. Did you go to that? Jesus, yeah. That's Jesus. That, oh, that's the same thing. It's just oh, it's just combined. Yeah. Bro, the man literally did Good Kid, Mad City from front to back. The whole album. I don't know if you guys remember. Yeah, from front to back. Did he actually? Every single song of Good Kid, Mad City from front to back. He did the whole thing. Okay, so every time, every time he went from one album to the next, every time he finished one song off the new album, he was always like, I have seen. Good kid, bad city. God. So, but I don't know what I'm talking about. But if that was the case, then yeah, like it would be better because he, like Kanye. It, but the thing is, though, like he probably had that in him. But Kanye was, it was Kanye's show. So all the effects and shit, Curtis, was Kanye's effects. So whereas, whereas Kendrick just came out and performed with a live band, right? And then Kanye had the whole, the whole set and the, the actual real shit that he had. Right? That was the same concert. Uh, what's his name? Open up to. Uh, Anderson Park. No, that was J. Cole. That was J. Cole? That was okay. J. Cole. Which one was J. Cole? Anderson Park. Anderson Park. Anderson Park. Oh, yeah. Before he got like big, big. Anderson yeah. Park and Jin. No, Jin was there. Yeah. We missed Jin. We missed him. We missed him. When he was there. Yes, he yeah. did. That's when he just I was pissed. I was pissed. I was pissed. Because yeah, I, yeah, we, we missed him. I was mad. I never knew that this whole time. Yeah, it was, was Jin, Anderson Park, and then yeah. J. Cole. I forgot. I was mad. We got there. That's when he was pissed. That's when he just like signed the next. 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 Yeah. Now look at it. Now he's about to be a fucking superstar in the next couple years. Now we're coming to it. Because of the, 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 the next few years, he's gonna. Oh, he's dropping albums. Yeah, he is. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like I have amnesia. Huh? <laughs> what you said? I was like, I have amnesia. No, I know. Watch oh, honestly, watch his I'm, progression. I'm pissed the Khaled album's dropping the same day, but I know the Khaled album's gonna be doing it. Khaled album's gonna be trash. Be trash. Yo, but I'm gonna listen to it because I know Wait, he's gonna... When is it dropping? Both of them are dropping August 26th. The single was single, I don't like that. But yo, the younger kids that are put it there, like I know Barry Mans were not... Yeah. We have Bear albums to review, eh? Bear. And I wanted to put you on the Black Thought album, too. That I heard that album, yeah. I haven't gotten tested. I heard that's that's gonna be fun. We're right. behind on Bear. We are. We are. Since, really since, since Game Drop. Uh, we have a song. Spoke about Beyonce. Badass, Beyonce. And then we have to do, we're gonna have to do um, game. You said game, game already? Game. No, no, I didn't. Long, but it's, it's deep rap. He's just rapping. Yeah, you're yeah, 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 doing badass Beyonce game. What did you say? Hey, let's do Jid. We're gonna have to do Jid. DJ Khaled. DJ Khaled. Uh, and then potentially Black Fun. <laughs> I'm gonna just listen to this because, but like, I really don't want No, I know. The last DJ Khaled album, yeah, yeah. I wasn't the biggest fan of. Because I like music. I'm gonna listen to it. Just like, I know he's gonna have big names on it, so I wanna see if these guys actually come through with the verses. Yes, 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 you know that relationship. Mm -hmm. so, yeah, oh, that's what I'm saying. You know you're gonna get that one track where I hate when he does the Jamaican tracks, but he, the guys actually. Who? I hate when DJ Khaled does it like the. the, the oh Jamaican yeah. I hate what it. The, honestly, like that that song on the last album. With the one that that one went with Buju Banton. Yeah, and, like, yeah that song's no. actually tough. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> that song's the tough. one before though. The one where he has, I think, Holy Ground, and then the, the song with Movado he has. I'm just like, yeah, the, the holy the Holy Ground one is like. A mid. Yeah. 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 In two weeks, bro. I think he tries to like be like a DJ. What do you think of this? That's the way you're gonna use the sample. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a fan. So I'm not a fan. All right, we are back at home. Got off the train. Drove my co-host Demar home. I mean, came in right into the studio to give my kind of little breakdown on the day, had a, had a good eventful day. It was a smooth trip downtown. 
Uh, if you saw, you saw at the beginning of the video, we had that wild encounter with that wild man. You know what I mean? Like, that was, that was to start off us getting off of the train at Union. Like, crazy start to the day. And as you see, that, that craziness trickled into the concert, with the concert being crazy. And... Honestly, I'm not a big concert goer, but I so but I've I've been to a couple and I go to the people that like I really enjoy and like are like legends to me, right? So like I really don't go a lot. So like I think I've only been to like five concerts. My first one was Watch the Throne, uh, which I still think might be one of my favorites, maybe just because it was my first one. But the Watch the Throne one with Jay-Z and, and Kanye, both of them coming on stage and going back and forth with their like biggest songs was absolutely amazing then i went to i i think it was i don't know if it was jay-z and beyonce the the on the run tour or if it was the yeezus tour first but i those are two that i've been to the yeezus tour and the on the run tour uh so i saw jay-z and beyonce another one why again like uh, like i i'm really like picky and and specific about the concerts that I go to so that one was legendary because seeing Beyonce and Hove together kind of tour together and like perform and, and kind of synchronize together was was really uh, really a good experience and like I told you I had the Yeezus tour I went to the J. Cole um the J. Cole concert for for Your Eyes Only, again, that was an amazing concert, J. Cole killed that, the openers, uh, it was, it, though, even the, the openers were good for that concert too, just Jid and Anderson Pack before they really, really blew, so it was good, that was an enjoyable concert, and then we have Kendrick, uh, the Big Separate Tour, which again, like I said, it was an amazing tour, Con like Kendrick, to me, is, is kind of like, honestly, like, People, I think, I think people sleep on how artsy and how artistic Kendrick actually is, and and I really feel like you're able to see that detail and those details, especially when he performs. And 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 now that I've seen him like on a, like his Dole album, just seeing his vision and what he wanted to portray as his like set, amazing, amazing set, amazing creativity. Uh, with some of the silhouettes that were on like the white curtain amazing choice if you saw some obviously from the clips from the earlier on in the video uh, and there's definitely clips just floating around the internet but honestly like the 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 set was amazing and just seeing his vision come to life and portrayed on the on the stage was was amazing him him as a him as a performer is amazing breath control like crazy hasn't lost a step and even just him seeing him getting like the choreographed dancers, that was a really, really nice touch. And obviously he's not no big, big choreographer, choreographed dancer, but you can see even he was kind of on beat and kind of doing little things with the rest of the dancers that were doing the choreography. So that was good to see. And Kendrick obviously coming in with that that Michael Jackson homage with the one glove, the one sparkly glove. Honestly, he was looking, the suit was looking clean. He was looking like a boss out there, a, a Don Dada out there on the stage. Um, I, I don't, I, yeah, like I, I don't really know what else to say. It was, I, like I had a, I had a really good time. My my boys had a good time. I, I had a, ex, I don't know. I just had a. I, I'm kind of, I'm kind of a little giddy right now. It's just it was a, it was a it was a good concert and just seeing. This legend, again, and this is the second time I've actually seen Kendrick. And he is, him and Kanye are the only people that I've seen twice. Uh, because Kendrick actually opened for the Yeezus tour. And he actually opened, like, with the Good Kid Mad City, like, album. Like, it, so, like, I basically, I, to me, I kind of count that as in I saw Kendrick twice. And, like, his, his tour and saw him... How he like progressed and just obviously because it was Kanye's show, like when Kanye had the big sets and whatever his vision wanted to be. So like at the time, Kendrick just had the the live band, but obviously Kendrick's a deep, deep, deep and super creative person. So again, like I said, him getting to have this chance to put not chance, but for him to like be able to. I mean, now that he's the lead dog, get his 
vision and what he wants for his set out there. It looked it looked great, and and his his ideas and his creativity were were portrayed beautifully, and and I I was really there for it, and just honestly, I was really just there for for just seeing this again seeing this goat and this monster like perform and yeah like i really just want to give this guy his flowers because like this guy honestly is a genius and like he really does be thinking like on like deeper and like next 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 levels and like you really do hear it in the rap if you're really paying attention on how deep this man is going on just everything everything at like on how deep he actually is going you know what i mean and i could start to go mad deep. I don't even want to get into to this, but Kendrick Lamar, I honestly have been saying from the time that I heard him early on, I was like, nah, this is the guy that's next up, right? Because the previous generation, like I was a big Kanye guy, obviously a little Wayne from that like previous generation. And there's obviously more from that previous generation that I can name, but obviously I don't want to go into that because that's, that's more my generation coming up in high school and all that. But the later generation, like the Drake, Cole, Kendrick, uh, obviously, those are the two, the, the three big dogs in that generation. But when those guys were coming up, like, I love Cole, and I do, do, do really, really, really like Drake. You know what I mean? Like, I, I do like him. I really do. And, but Kendrick, at that time, and even now, like, I just, I don't know. I just, for some reason, like, I just see Kendrick as, like, this, like, to me anyway. Like, he's like an alien. Like, he's just like, he's like an extraterrestrial alien when it comes to just, like, not only creating and putting his vision out there but his music making song making and and rapping ability like to me it's like alien like and just seeing him be able to to put that in a performance for me to see honestly it was just it was great like i i really do appreciate seeing greatness like i honestly even there like had to take a moment to be like yo like this guy is honestly one of the greatest, and it's, it, it's, it's, this is like a, a great moment to watch greatness focus in and lock in on their craft and display it for thousands and thousands to see. You know what I mean? It's, it, it's, a, it's, it's a difficult thing to do, a very, very difficult thing to do, and, and, he, and he, executes it, he executes it and gets it off like it's, it's absolutely nothing. So I, I think I'm going to end it here. I might have rambled on a little too long, but honestly, I just needed to get off my my thoughts about the concert and just my thoughts on Kendrick and what about what I just think about this guy. And I got to give him all the flowers I can right now because I don't even know when I'm going to get a next project from this guy. So I got to hold on to this one as long as I can and give him his flowers on for this project. You know what I mean? As long as I can, which I feel like I will have a lot of time because I feel like it's going to be a minute before we get that next Kendrick project. But that is it for this video. Let me know in the comments what you thought about this vlog. Obviously, I'm not a big vlog guy. You know what I mean? And I don't really go to too many events. You know what I mean, because I am a father. But I do like to go out certain times. And, and like I said, I'll go to special events and big events that really pique my interest. So going to this was, was, was a good treat and a good experience. And... This type of video, again, is, is not a video that I'm going to be doing often. So if you guys have watched it and you enjoy it, hit the like button, subscribe to my channel. Uh, I My actual content, I got movie reviews, trail reactions, uh, entertainment news, stuff relating to that subject matter. I also have the Brandon Cryer podcast on here. I have episode three was the most recent episode, and we talked about how my co-host Demar actually made it to the OVO after party at Drake's house, which was crazy, 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 and mad shocking to me. My jaw was dropped, and I was mad happy for my guy, but we basically get into his night and how he even ended up there. So it's an interesting, interesting video, so go check that out. Let me know in the comments what you thought about the images and, and videos that you and clips that you saw about the Big Stepper tour, and if you're maybe going down the line, or or if you saw it and which songs he performed that you really or you liked, and or like what about his like set you really enjoyed? Let me know in the comments. Let me know all that good stuff about the concert. Questions, thoughts about the concert in the comments. I appreciate you for watching.